Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page or website, definitely it's better to use the website building platforms because it's much more easier and faster and you don't need to learn coding, you don't need to learn web design because everything is pre-built for you. Uh, and uh, today in this video, I want to show you one of those platforms. And as for me, it's one of the best tools uh, that is available for the moment and you can build everything up like literally in one hour um, and that's what i want to show you i want to share with you all the editing features all the things that you need to know to be able to build your own uh, landing page or you know, website or maybe you want to uh, you want to build a big website or small landing page doesn't matter because editing features are pretty the same and all you need to do is watch this video till the end because uh, I want to highlight to you all the editing features of this platform and everything is pretty simple, easy and uh, drag and drop. So one more thing, our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video using our link. Uh, this is the first information that you need to uh, think about. And the second information that I don't want to make this video like all those tutorials available in YouTube, like one hour long or two hour long. I want to make this video as short as possible with maximum value, just to highlight all the main things that you need to know. And you're going to be able to build up your own landing page uh, just in 15 minutes. Let's jump straight to business and let's go inside welcome so that what's happening inside and you need to press create new landing page in case if you want a landing page or you need to press sites and create new site but today we're going to talk about the landing page and all the editing features are pretty the same so it doesn't matter which uh which type of site you want to build uh, here in this spot you'll see that there are a lot of interesting templates that already pre-built uh, and you can customize them any of them uh, to purposes of your own uh, business or personal purposes. So page type, you can sort all the templates by the page type, like newsletter and sign in, lead capture, incentive, and so on. Industry, uh, creative services, education, a lot of things. And most, um, most relevant things are here. Uh, of course, you can build up everything from scratch, but I suggest you to use the template because uh, it's much more easier. And let's start building this one. And I'm going to show you all the things that lays inside. Uh, for example, we given our page a name, we can change it later. It doesn't matter for the moment. Uh, and that how it will be displayed in the list of your uh, of your projects. So let's discover what do we have here back uh, name of our site and you can change it here and url also lead matter this great widget that shows how your page will convert your visitors to customers and that's pretty important so you need to make sure that it will be full uh, or or good i'll show you the case in this video so just wait for it uh, preview uh, in this mode, you can see how your uh, how your page will be displayed in different types of devices. All the uh, all the websites that you can build on this platform are absolutely mobile responsive, and you need to make sure that everything works properly and you don't have weird uh, stuff on your page. So let's start layout. Here in layout, you see all the sections that you have. So everything built up with the sections and all those sections are pretty, uh, pretty understandable. So here's the footer and here's the body. OK, body and footer. And you can add section. You can uh, press on it and you can go to section style and you see what's inside. Like we have two columns here. Yeah, and we can add a column or a row if we need so uh, or you can delete it from here if you don't need this element uh, to be here on your uh, on your page also we have a background here so let's change an image and i want to show you something impressive you can use your images that you use for previous projects or you can buy uh, images here straight from from shutterstock uh, and it's 
like eight dollars per picture uh, it's up to you or you can upload uh, your own media from uh, from your computer if you have like some uh, ready uh, done things yeah uh, let's use this girl is running okay let's use this one it's not so high quality picture you see it's like within the pixels uh, but it doesn't matter to show you what's happening inside the platform. So get, uh, kick off your next phase of fitness with a free workout plan. So we promise to send some uh, workout plan to the human being that will press the button, get the free plan. I'm going to show you how we can make that happen. But first, uh, you see that our text is pretty unreadable here because uh, the picture is great so we need to use image color overlay let's add a custom color it can be red it can be any color that you want uh let's use i like this gray colors all of the gray colors and we change in the opacity here and you see that the picture is there and the text is pretty readable okay that how it works and this is really incredible also you know that we have two columns here and when you're hovering over the surface you see that all all elements uh, are highlighted with the blue boxes so there's a button there's a text one more piece of text uh, this is the spacer and this is divider so when you're gonna grab this line this vertical line and you'll move it you see that elements are reshaping itself so you can make the shape that you want actually yeah that looks great but maybe that is more readable yeah or uh this is also great option so you you have a lot of things to play around with here in this platform but the most impressive stuff that everything is changed it changed by itself yeah a little bit okay let's go to sections uh and here in layout let's go back in here in layout i'll show you uh, you see body and footer and you can add section from this spot or you can press this button and uh, it's gonna be the same actually you see it highlighted uh there's about there's a list yeah call to action contact as faqs and so on and so on plans and pricing and it's pre-built blocks that you can just uh, grab and use to uh, to your purposes. And it's already done, like it's already built and uh, you can use them. If you didn't found the template of a section that you need, you can use blank templates for two columns, three and, and, and so on. Yeah, let's use this one. You just drag and you see drop here, drop here. Let's drop it here uh we going back to layout now we see that we have body footer blank and about we don't need this about we're gonna delete and you see this uh like red box what what you're gonna delete okay delete we see that the footer is not on the spot and we need to move it down easy uh let's go to widgets there are a lot of them, but if we're going to press show less, we see the text, image and text, image, video, button, form, line and space. That's it. That's pretty enough to build everything that you want. Uh, for example, I need the text to be here. Uh, like big text. All right. Big text. Not normal text. Let it be jumbo let it be other font this one or other one doesn't matter just showing you the case how you can do that really simple and easy all right it's in the center i don't like the color okay doesn't matter for the color it, it's gonna be white uh, but maybe i want to make it bald yeah great uh, some dummy text of course i'm just showing you uh here you need to apply some video cool and here we have one more spot to place some let it be uh on a form yeah cool cool uh, the form is not on the spot let's move it i told you about the divider 
let's move it a little bit so we need the video to put in here uh, we need this form to be here but like maybe I want it to be in the center of this field and that's amazing uh, when we're gonna press this three dots button we can go to edit section settings we can add section above uh, or below from this spot we can duplicate it copy or delete let's go to edit section settings we see that there's no background color but we see the color from here uh, probably is the color of the page background yeah and it is we're gonna delete it and you see it's transparent so we go to edit section settings and we can uh, change the background of each section separately nice nice and you see all the, everything like built within one style um, and it looks pretty well and and nothing is special but I want to make uh, I want to make this section bigger for example and that can be done right here or maybe we can make less space here so you have a lot of things to play around with but the most important parts i showed you the most important parts but one of the most important thing in all website building job like is to edit the click event why because uh what's gonna happen actually when somebody will press this get the free plan yeah, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be the pop-up. It can be Calendly pop-up, jump to page section, link to landing page, or link to an external URL. Uh, we're gonna use the pop-up form and edit the pop-up. You can create new one, or you can edit the pop-up that you have here. Uh, so email um, and send me my workout plan. You can change all the fonts, all the things here in the edit section settings. But the most important thing is edit integrations when you're gonna press on it uh, you see that the way how you'll get lead notifications is to your inbox or you can integrate uh, your site with external services and it's an impressive list of it like convert kit get response mailchimp active campaign all those are pretty cool and powerful email marketing tools uh, and you see the Zapier, you see all, all those stuff. If you don't want to buy one of those uh, accounts for MailChimp or ConvertKit, now you can integrate everything with the Zapier and you're going to get the lead notifications to your Google Sheets straight. Cool? Cool enough. So you need to think about that. Uh, and we're going forward. Like fields, email, we can add a field and it's going to be the first name. Because I need the first name. I need to know with whom I'm dealing with. So first name and email. You can move it around with this arrow. So you see first name, email. Do not add more than uh, two fields. Because your lead matter uh, will be crazy about that. Uh, and why is that happens? Because all the people are lazy actually. And they don't want to fulfill a lot of information. Uh, so first name and email is pretty enough to get information from your client you see th something went wrong and we don't know what uh, but let's go forward actions what's gonna be when somebody will like get the free plan my first name and email and i'm pressing the button what's gonna happen so i i need to get my free workout plan and perhaps it's pdf so you can add this lead magnet you can add this file uh, email a file or link to visitor who complete the form like you can make it straight from this spot uh, it can be external url landing page or default lead pages thank you page or landing page you can, you can build separate landing page to say thank you to a human being who fulfilled this form yeah and that's uh, that's pretty cool and that's pretty it uh, also want to say a couple words about the styles here because uh, here if you have a long layout if you have a big layout you have a lot of text and a lot of things to show you can change the font styles here for all the headlines and all the text and we don't have a countdown but you can uh, choose the countdown font also the color of the text so you can change it straight from this spot uh, just in couple clicks okay also, I showed you 
uh, styles. Okay, yeah, the page background. I showed you the page background here, uh, the page color, page width, favicon and custom CSS if you want. So uh, settings, just a couple things and we're finishing. SEO, definitely you need to be visible to search engine machines. That's why you need to type all the titles, all the description, all the keywords. If you don't want, uh, I don't want search engines to index this page. Just click on that flag. Social, if you want to share your link to uh, Facebook or Pinterest or some else uh, social media place, you need to choose an image here because that's how it will be displayed uh, on Facebook. Analytics, Google Analytical tracking ID can be applied here. And you can change the language uh, of your page uh, to one of this from the list. That's pretty it, guys. That's pretty it. I showed you how to manage all the things. Uh, I showed you that you can you can do everything that you want uh, to this spot. You can delete some stuff. You can add some pages. You can add sections. You can move them around. Uh, you can type the text, you can change the colors, and you can get a lot of customization on this platform. So if you want to try to build your own landing page or website straight away, go to the description panel of this video, find the link, press that link, jump to, uh, jump to this fantastic and really powerful platform to get your own landing page or website. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Hope you enjoyed it and hope this was really useful for you and you're gonna get this uh, to work. Thanks, cheers, take care, and bye-bye.